Good morning guys and thank you for watching ASFN Fishing again and yesterday we're going to do a very interesting bait but first I want to just thank all the guys that's supporting our channel the ones that's subscribing, the ones that likes the videos and please subscribe and like the videos it really helps the algorithms of YouTube for us to grow and make and bring you more videos uh, like I said in previous videos we've done this for 15 years where we share everything to get you the best possible results we don't keep back on information in fishing as all of you as anglers know getting area specific information or uh, methods or baits that really work is not as easy as what we as anglers would like it and that's the objective of the ASFN fishing platform is to build that library with comprehensive information on everything guys okay guys now the bait today I would like to share with you guys is one of my favorite and most effective scratching baits especially when looking for those bigger nicer edibles on the Mozambique Zululand coast and will even work on on many other areas in your reefy areas where you're fishing for for bigger edible species and uh, even on sandy areas um, most fish will pick this up the purpose of this bait and let me explain why it's my favorite is in most parts of this coastline we've got pickers which we call pickers or refer to which is smaller fish that picks away at your bait and uh, quite quickly cleans your hook up now there's only really one effective bait to overcome this uh, properly and still get bigger fish to pick up your bait and that's octopus Octopus is the base bait for anything really if you want to fish through those peckers and target bigger fish. It's a very underestimated bait. The guys in the Southern Cape, Eastern Cape will tell you as well it's a go-to bait for cob, for the duck bulls, and anything a very, very good bait in general. Now this is the Adcan Marine uh, bait, which uh, pre-packed and comes into South Africa. You can find them in most of your tackle stores. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you guys the basic principle of this bait. You can vary it in several ways. Now the whole thing is to create a bait where the pick is still creating a bait with a lot of smell, a lot of cloud in the water that lures in anything quite quickly. But when the pickers reach it first and hit away at it, um, that's normally when your bigger fish will come into the area. Have a look at it and wait to see what happens when the pickers hit it and he'll bully them out of the way or grab it or when they leave the parts they can't get to he'll grab that which is your bigger part of this bait now let's just start I'm going to take one of these legs off and uh, just quickly clean it you cut it into the body here okay look at that that's actually the eyeball that came out beautiful just cut a leg off all right and then I'm going to put the rest of the octopus away there I'll show you guys some other baits we'll do um, as well with the octopus really popular bait so when you're at the beach you can use sand to, to actually scratch the skin off. These ones from Adcan, a lot of times you can just grab the skin and peel it. Okay, so you separate the skin literally from the nice white fleshy part. You grab it bits by bits and just work it off um, as much as what you're going to need. Now you can get two, three baits out of this. You can fit it to the size you're going to tie like a prawn combination bait will be a thinner smaller one you can use if you put more foam on or you want to fish a bigger bait for a speckled snapper or a rock hard, or any of those species you'll use, this, use the top part or you can split the top part in half so that you can use two baits out of it you can get quite far with one octi leg all right so I'm going to use the thick part so it's easy to show I'm going to use a single j hook how we would tie on that when you buy those curlers for the dangles, you'll find these little pins, plastic pins in there. Um, ideal for, instead of a toothpick, to hold your phone. Okay, you stick it from the back to the front, because I'm going to put my phone on the back. So to get a nice sharp edge on that, you cut the back off. All right, and then foam, just to build the body of your bait, depending on how much you need. When you're fishing in reefs and you're fishing for a rock hard, you still want movement, but you don't need to get it that high up. You need to get it off the bottom like this, floating around, to draw the attention of any, any of the fish in the area, uh, to see it easier, which helps with the movement, the reaction bite, as well as the, the smell and flavor. And I'm just shaping it a little bit. 
put it on the hook and that we're just gonna fit on the hook like that and that pin will hold it okay let's just grab this cotton there it is okay and you secure your phone to your hook you zigzag it over that little pin to hold it a bit stronger and onto your knot several turns onto your knot which will hold this nicely onto the line. Okay, once the foam's on, I'm going to put the rest of the foam away and then I'm going to measure how much I want to use. Okay. I split this halfway. Okay, now that, there's a lot more flavor on the inside of this because it's got that little protective skin. Now you see what I'm doing, I'm making little slits in it right through so that folds it open nicely, it makes it quite a bit thinner and much easier to work with. Okay, and then your bottom part, now your hook, I'm going to put there, so I want the tentacles. And you can choose if you want four or two, the enormous two. There's a thick piece, so I made four of them. Okay. And then you'll just stick your hook in there. And don't beat this. You want this to stay solid. There's enough flavor on that inside that you don't have to beat this bait with a chocker hammer. You can just fold it around like that. It forms a nice, nice solid bait as you can see. And there's a couple of guys here with the wheat eaters working. So I'm working on time until they come around again and, and make too much noise for us. Um, so you just stretch that nicely around the foam. The pin in the front's holding the, the octopus onto the, the foam as well, which is nice. And in the back here where you're gonna tie your, your add-on bait, you leave a bit of foam and that allows you to tie the octopus to the foam so it doesn't shift in a cast or when the bait or the fish hits it hard that it doesn't shift it off the foam or down the foam or up the line so you secure it nicely. Right guys and that's it, that's the base bait. Now you can add anything to this, this is such a lovely bait for stumpies. All the edible species uh, from two kilos up this is a lovely lovely bait even the smaller fish but the small fish won't get your bait off they'll hit whatever you put on yeah and in this case i'm going to do a red eye and uh, obviously everyone knows scratching here in zululand coast the natal red eye is deadly but everything loves it and everything will hit this so from the smallest picker to big sandies and honeycombs will not hesitate to pick this up all right now you take that billy part and you put billy out on the back of that bait and you tie it neatly to the octopus so all that flavor will be in the water it will call all the interested species closer to this bait the foam will give it a bit more movement so they can see it the smells out the octopus smells out there the smaller fish is not taking the octopus off the hook or even damaging it and a fish that's big enough to be able to swallow that will grab it pull you flat and uh, bob's your aunt that's what you want ah so very quickly i didn't tie it too neat this uh, belly the, the red eye belly you can remove those gill plates as well all right okay so it's got all that smell it's got the body bait and when this is picked off you've still got that lovely octopus bait flying around so guys that's it that is one of my favorite favorite baits all around scratching baits for edible fish on the north coast zululand mozambique and any of those areas thank you very much for watching and remember to subscribe hit that subscribe button and hit the like button if you feel this bait can work for you now what i want to show you guys quickly today is a lovely scratching bait it's an ep bait uh, the guys in the eastern province use this a lot and uh, important what I'm going to use I've got some 
Natal red eye, very important, and some chocker. So it's a chocker red eye bait, and I'm using some sardine as well in the body. And that's what the EP bait consists of. There's sardine, let's find them. <laughs> sardine, chocker, and red eye. Okay, this all courtesy from at Can Marine where we get our bait. And first I'm just gonna clean the chocker. I actually want to just use a piece, so I don't want to cut the whole chocker up yet. And as you can see in front of me, I've got the new Safari Chiller Light. Guys, this is what we all been waiting for in a bait box. Very light box, less than half the weight of the, of the, the fiberglass Safari Chillers with the same properties, the same freezing or preservative quality or preserving qualities as what the Safari Chillers got. Great quality. Nice strong handles and reinforcement. The lid we use and we need for cutting, right box. Now first, leave that in the water a bit. And then I wanna get a, a body bait, which you guys will see. Still the best bait, uh, bait now, guys. Alrighty, okay, get the sardine, our sardine, our red eye, and our chocker. Alright, toothpicks, I need some toothpicks which I use to secure my bait, my latex cotton, chocker hammer, and then of course a little bit of foam. Which I'm just going to cut a piece the size I want. All right, guys, now, for this type of scratching, to put a bait out there and be able to catch any one of those fish I named, except maybe bronze bream and your copper breams, the smaller fish, but this is a nice size. It's the mustad ringed soy hook. You can fish from a 2.0 to a 4.0. Lovely, lovely little scratching hook, and you can land, always say, a small hook can catch a big fish, but a big hook will not catch a small fish. So this will catch anything from one kilo up to 50 kilos if you can land it. I hooked an eagle ray on one of these hooks, 80 kilo eagle ray which I landed as well. So you can really land big fish on these hooks. But important, like I always say, is fit the size of your bait to the size of your hook. So basically, I'm gonna cut my foam the size I want my bait to be and I'll trim it now, okay? We're not 100% level yeah. so everything falls off a little bit. I'm going to cut it a bit shorter there, a bit there. Now you can really play with this and shape it nicely. No need to for me to do that today because I'm going to pack it with bait. I'm going to take my toothpick. And from the front of the hook, I'm going to stick it through to the back. Here's my knife and just trim it in the front and that's to hold my foam, the bait on it, and just secure it. Now look what I do there, okay? I put the bait to the middle of the hook shank because I want my hook two thirds really. I want my hook still to be proud after I put the bait on. And that comes down to where you're comfortable with it. All right. Now that you're going to secure with cotton. Okay. It's important to put a lot of cotton on there, secure your foam nicely, and now you can just build your bait on it. All right. So what I'm going to do, again, I start with a chocker body, and I want to make sure, just give you guys an idea, I want tentacles. So I wanted to hang about that much underneath, up to there. So that's pretty much the bait I'm gonna, the size chocker I'm gonna cut. It's from there. It's the nice slither. Okay, I don't want a long tentacle for this particular bait. Um, the bait, the foam as well guys, remember the foam is there 
to create that movement in the water. Cutting little tentacles in the bottom and nice for movement you can use only two tentacles in this case I made four. Just trim it at the top and then the half slits I always do. You just slit it halfway down and that's to fold it nicely around the foam. And if you remember now I've got the toothpick here sticking out. So what I do is I put my hook in the middle here. I like putting it in one of the tentacles just where it starts. You fold it over and you see where that where that toothpick will be. I make a hole incision and I stick it through that hole. Now that secures the body of your bait nicely. Look, the hook is proud, the rest of the bait will build on the back. Then just moving over to the sardine. This is Natal sard. Now you can either use the belly. I'm just going to use the little back piece like that. Cut the, the backbone out. Trim it nicely, just half slits, because this will fold as well. Normally cut that side, trim it a bit, and then just put it on the back, like that. Now you can make those tentacles much longer if you want. I just want this specific look. Because of course after I've shown you this bait, I have to put it in the water, I can't waste it. Now, that's nice and mushy, we'll let a lot of, lot of juices and oil come out underneath, slowly dispersing into the water. And that nice and thick piece, I cut. Let's cut it long enough. As you can see, it's a nice thick, thick, thick piece. Great for mushing it up and putting it over. And that's to keep, keep that sardine inside and slowly let the flavor come out. You hit it on the skin side, always. At an angle, yeah, working at an angle. Push it up really nice. Basically put that mush side to the outside, like that. Shape it nicely with your hand. And then tie it on. Now you've got that nice, strong flavor of the mushed up chocker. Fresh sardine. You're gonna have in the water. Okay, guys, that's where we are now. You can fish this just like that. But now we add the side the red eye belly at the back. I'm gonna cut that nicely, like that. Slice it out, little diamond shape. And I actually prefer the bait to be still semi-frozen. This actually defrosted very quickly now. When I make this bait, it just allows for a much neater bait. That first five minutes in the water, you've got a very, very neat bait floating around there. Smash that blood from the heart. All the way down around your bait and basically that's your little EP bait lovely little bait the fish can can get stuck into all right so that's the EP bait sardine we'll start with a chocker body sardine uh, 
tail piece as part of the body, then mushed up chocker around it to fold it, and then a red eye belly on the outside. Guys, now this will catch your bigger flat fish as well. We'll catch anything. Okay guys, I'm uh, gonna show you this little, what we refer to as a little cheat bait. This is a little bay squid, which in these areas are fantastic. Now, they're not freely available in the shops. You can, after phoning a lot of people, you might get a couple, there's a couple of guys that net them in the harbors. But they're deadly baits. The unfortunate part about them is uh, it costs you over 30 rand each. And uh, a picker will not swim past this either. However, it's always surprised us with the species it lures in. You can hook a 100 kilo honey on this. You can hook a 100 kilo sandy on this. You can hook pretty much anything, all the kingy, kingies. I'm sure a cob won't swim past this, but that's not uh, what it's targeting. Pompano and any other nice edible fish would love this. Now what I've done, I've taken a 6-0 by Stadring Soy. I've put high density phone, I use a toothpick to secure it, so it can't move up and down if I clip to get more distance. I'm gonna fish a cone, the sea has gone a bit big though, but I'm still gonna try a six ounce cone. And uh, for it to move around, just wash off the sides of banks and stuff, that's the whole idea. Now, you're gonna secure this onto the foam, the, the inside, the intestines and the little, the head, and make it stick out pretty much there. I'm happy with it. is going to secure the top and then fold this bottom nicely open and put some wraps there take the little beak out then it doesn't cool as bad but it doesn't really matter with the base bit it's so small and then cross wrap over the eyes Brings them out nicely as you can see. And caught onto the toothpick, so I'll just secure it that way. And then the other one, cross wrap this side. It's like tying a fly. There you go. Alright. Okay, alright. And these little tentacles. Get them down. Oh, nice. Then I cut it open. There's the little little cartilage inside that I take out. And then on the inside of this, you just lightly bang it with the back of your knife because it's so thin and delicate. You don't want to puncture it. You just want to give it a nice texture so that your cotton wraps nicely and holds it as well as brings out more of that smell. Deadly smell this. This is one of those baits that can go rotten in your bait box and you're still gonna put it on. Not because it costs 30 bucks, but because it still works. Now this one, specifically, remember it's not beaten on the other side, so I wanna tie it just here on the toothpick. A little bit tighter so that I know that doesn't push up or slip up again. And you can even from there, just to secure it, go around the eyes again. One, two over that, and then over the eyes this side. Don't want to restrict my tentacles. Okay. That should hold. One slip. Deadly, deadly bait, guys.